What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day number 25 of Autodesk Fusion. All right, so today's going to be a pretty simple day. Um, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to um, do some quick edits on sketches using trim, extend, and fillet. It's not fillet, but it's fillet. Um, if you want to uh, fight some particular people on that, I guess you can uh, argue that till you're blue in the face, but it is a fillet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a piece like this using those commands. So I'm going to start a new sketch. And I'm just going to create a really simple rectangular shape with another rectangle on the inside. And I'm also going to just going to do some really ugliness right here. For very quickly, how do you erase certain geometries? You can absolutely go in, right click, and hit delete. However, that tends to take a lot of time. So what I'm going to do is under this um, modifi modify drop down, you'll find trim. Often I just hit T on my keyboard. So I'm going to hit T on my keyboard. And then I can just go hover over and click on any of this geometry I would like to disappear. Now a nice little shortcut. Say if there's a lot of geometry and I'm not too worried about being accurate, you can hold down the mouse and it will erase any geometry that you're going to go find. Cool. Next thing, let's look at a fillet. So if a fillet allows us to smooth off an edge. So what you can do is you can click a fillet between two lines, or if you hover over in, in the corner, sometimes it'll automatically do that for you. And we're gonna go ahead and fill it, all of these. Now, um, it's doing it as a circle, and so it's, it's, we're looking at the radius of that circle. So you can drag in and uh, play with what kind of fillet would you like? Would you like this to be completely rounded off? Um, would you like this just to be a very small fillet? Depending upon your part, you know, uh, you have to change what that radius looks like. But it's often denoted in the in the fillet uh, when you're using that command. It's often denoted as radius. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that and hit OK. All right, next thing. Let's look at it. Um, I'm just going to fill it all corners of these again and let's look at this other function called extend. So extend allows me to take certain geometry and predict what would you do if you were to extend that line. So you can extend lines by making those corners again pretty easily and we can remake that that rectangle I just had. Now um, Fusion does a pretty good job at predicting what your um, extension is going to look like and it'll often give you a little preview. So if I wanted to extend the lines all the way out like so, it gives you a nice little predictive geometry. However, I am going to erase all that real quick and um, go back to my filleted inside. And um, let's use extend to complete these as circles instead. There we go. Now you notice where I'm clicking on is not necessarily what the line to be, but it's the line I want it to extend, not the area I'm at. So if I wanted to extend this line, I'm not going to put my cursor down here. I'm going to hover over the line and manipulate it to do the extension I want it to do. All right, so let's go ahead and trim this up a little bit. Uh, let's uh, trim this up. That way, when I do my extrusion, we create a nice simple piece. I'm going to go ahead and hit finish sketch and uh, let's extrude this out. And that inside geometry as well. And there we go. Alrighty, that was using the commands fillet, uh, extend, and trim to make some simple geometry and some quick edit sketches. That's going to be it for this video, folks. It's going to be a nice short one, and I'll see you on the next one. Adios.